The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, welcome to Monty Whitfield's Art Show. And on this episode, we'll be speaking with Jason Glenick, who is a representative of the Nashua Area Artists Association, and he'll be speaking on the Greeley Park Art Show. And uh, now I'm going to read his bio. Glenick is a digital artist whose professional career includes graphic design, web design, photography, illustration, and video. Mr. Glenick used his graphic uh, design skills to build web TV graphics and create virtual animations based upon real data acquisitions for Trackus Incorporated. Um, Glenick is a former president of the Nashua Area Artist Association, which we uh, call uh, NAAA in the biz, and currently is a board member. He also shows his artwork in galleries, annual shows, and art exhibits. Uh, Glenick received a four-year diploma from the School of the Museum of Fine Arts and a BFA at Tufts University in Boston, Massachusetts. His concentration of study was uh, graphic design, 3D computer animation, and digital art. He continues to learn about new technologies through continuing education. Well, not, nice to have you here, well, Jason, so you, much. Monty. Well, thank you it's for great inviting to have you me and, and allowing the NAA to come on to your show and uh, talk about the 60th Annual Greeley Park Art Show. Sure. As a matter of fact, we arranged another fellow who'll be on next week because this is so time sensitive. Yes. So we wanted to get you on. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. We do what, what we can. Uh, so, Jason, what is your particular role with the uh, NAAA? Well, currently, right now, I'm the presidential advisor, so I advise on things that the NA should be doing, um, because obviously, as you know, I was a past president in 2007, 2008, and right now, I'm also working as the, the co-manager of the Greeley Park Art Show, and Sandra Peters is the other uh, co-chair person. And now, you folks have been, excuse me for a you folks have been doing this for quite a while now. This is oh, not yes. your first... Uh, year doing this, right? Oh, no, we've been doing it for many, many, many years. And um, obviously, the NAA has been around for, since 1951. I'm not sure if they started the Greeley Park show that year or the next year, but we're up to number 60, which is pretty amazing. I mean, wow. it's amazing that, you know, it's all nonprofit. Everybody volunteers every single year. And, you know, to be outside and, and 60 years, that's incredible. Yes, yes. Um, so let me go on to, uh, okay, so then I, um, okay, why don't we discuss uh, just in a general way mm -hmm. what the NAAA offers to folks who may consider uh, joining an, an art association for the first time, or maybe they have a number of art associations. Um, so what are the benefits of joining the National Area Artists Association? Well, Basically, um, you know, if a person becomes a member of the National Area Artists Association, again, you can find applications online at our website or Facebook or something like that. Okay. Um, so that would be the contact information on right. Facebook, okay. Right. Or the website, okay. Yeah. So basically, their benefits are is that they sign up, they become a member, they pay their dues. You know, we have monthly meetings and. And where are the um, monthly meetings held at? Uh, currently, we have an office space at the Hunt Morrow Library building on like five main streets. It's a beautiful space yeah. you have. It has right. like a so, historic uh, look to it. How, so, how old is that building? Uh, it's uh, 1800, 1900. It's, you know, yeah. obviously. It was the very first library in Nashua. Oh, and then I didn't they, know that. Then they oh. moved over to the Chandler Library. In the 1970s, they have their current library. Oh, so that's it's the oldest of the, the libraries that library. started yeah. when Nashua first right. started. Oh, so that was called the National Public Library at the very beginning. Oh, and now it's the Hunt Building. Right. Okay. Now, I guess the official term is Hunt Memorial Building. Oh, okay. Uh, that's the official. Now, are, the, are those meetings you have once a month through with the NAAA? <coughs> Excuse me. Are those for members as well as uh, just the public? Yes. And there, there's kind of two <coughs> meetings going at the same time. The first part of the meetings is a general meeting to the general public, the members. And the second part of the meeting is, is kind of for the board members more. So, so you kind of have two meetings at the same time or right after each other. But you're correct. Like, 
the big, the very first part is that people can come in even if they're not members and check it out and see what's going on with the N NAAA. Now, one can actually find that in the newspaper, I think, too, right? Yes. Where you're going to meet we, through we, the Hippo, the Telegraph, the right, Union we, Leader. We try to advertise, you know, at the local newspapers, <coughs> our Excuse website, me. our Facebook, and you know, direct email to our um, members. Okay, now let's get right into the heart okay. of the. Greeley Park Art Show. 60 years, my understanding is the longest running art show in New England. Am I? Well, it's, it's am I more off specifically my fine arts because I think the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen, I think they've been around longer, but that's more of a craft type of right. show. Right, they have like a 10 to 20% right. ratio of visual artists. Exactly. But 80%, like, like you say. Right. Um, okay, so let's get right into the meat of the Greeley Park Art Show. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be um, August 16th and uh, th 17th. This year, it's the 17th, 17th and 18th. 17th and 18th, I'm this sorry. Year. I was thinking my birthday's on the 16th. Okay. Excuse me. I was being a little <laughs> narcissistic. Uh, 17th and the 18th right. from nine, 10 uh, in the morning to 5. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay. yes. 10 to 5. And uh, so now... Uh, about how many artists are we thinking are going to be there? Well, we make room for 100. That's our maximum capacity. Right. So I'm planning on 60 or 70 artists. Wow, that's artists. a big... And each one has to have their own booth, their own 10 by 10, and uh, then they get to display their artwork and sell their artwork. Okay, so you have a series of 10 by 10 booths, of right. 60 or 70 of these, and they're all in, in rows and such. Right. And then, um, so... One of the things I think what that goes on at these is that, well, yes, in fact, I know, you have a situation where people uh, can win awards for yes. best of show first. Yeah. Can you talk now, about that? Now, that is, that's the adult art, art competition that you're talking about, and that's on Saturday. So on Saturday is the adult art competition, and we have different categories, I think almost nine different categories that they can win, like you said, the best in show is of the whole competition and then you have the first place the second place and the third place winners in each category right and then on can, can you name the nine categories so folks um, would this year i think the president slightly changed but we'll, we'll just go off like yeah, watercolor kind of, so watercolor, um, watercolors, right, watercolors yeah. oil paintings oil. acrylics um like photography and digital art um sculpture and 3d are kind of in there i think there's a jewelry category oh okay there might be like printmaking a few others but that's the gist of it wow so there's nine categories there's roughly not yeah. just the oil the watercolor and right. the ones that everybody knows about and, and uh, acrylic so you have nine different categories and then so you have nine different areas where people can uh can win first second third and right and, and that and uh, and then you always have a best of show Right. Now right. that encompasses, you know, all those categories. So whoever has the best of show and the key there is once you win the best of show, you get prize money and, you know, prizes, but you also get your artwork on next year's Greeley Park poster. Well, so that's a great that's great exposure for right. an artist. If an artist can have his his poster being a best of show right. for next week's for, next for next year. year's uh, sometimes it feels like next I week, know, it does. <laughs> but next year's show, then uh, that's a, that's great exposure. And I, it's on the website also, right. and it's on different places where you get exposure. Yeah, and then obviously, you know, in the newspaper afterwards, we try to we try to send to the newspapers like the best in show and the winning category. So so they get a lot of exposure, uh, definitely. Yeah, you have some big name artists. I know uh, Chief Johnson. Yes. Uh, won. What did he win last year? First place, or I think it was first place. Yeah, so he's in, right yeah. in there. Oh yeah, I know he's one of the. And, and that's then watercolor. obviously, you know, we have Marilyn Sawoff and Monique, um, Marilyn, yeah, and Monique Sackler. So, like you said, the big names have been right. around for a long time. And then time. you all, you also not just the big name artist or emerging artist or international or national artist, but you also have uh, music playing. I believe. Yes. Is um, it? In general, we usually hire you know a musician or two. Right now, it's George Parker. He's a classical musician, so he just goes and strolls around. You know, he may start and stop, and he walks around sometimes. So it's nice to have this background music every so often. And yeah, he's so it's, good. He plays. Yeah. He plays such a nice variety of music, right. and it's kind of relaxing. And it, it's yeah. it's really well, one of the things like um, you know if you have a nice sunny beautiful day with a breeze right. and there's all that artwork out there you just yeah. can't beat it oh yeah definitely but we do have the tents to protect you know if there's any rain or the sun we do have the everyone is, has a tent to protect their artwork but even the art competitions we have two 
10 by 20 tents and everything is safe. So if you put your artwork in there, everything is going to be safe whether it's raining or sunshine because that was a problem before. They used to have the snow fence and people would be concerned, is the sun damaging my right, watercolor it, right, or the it, rain? And so right. none of the artists have to worry about any of that stuff anymore. That's not an issue yeah. for the not last couple issue. years. Now, talk about the children's competition. There's a whole separate tent right. for them that's all tented up right. so nobody gets rained on if exactly. there is a light rain or whatever. And it's a whole separate area just for the kids. Let's get into right. that. Okay, so that's kind of so exciting. what that is called, that's called the East Show. It's, it's emerging the East artist show. Right. Emerging Artist Student Talent. That's what that stands for. Oh, that's a for. great name. So there's two shows. There's one in the springtime at the Hunt Building, and then the second one is at the Greeley Park Art Show. Oh, okay. And, and that happens on Sunday. So on Sunday. Only on Sunday. So only on Sunday. So the kids bring in their, their artwork. They bring it to the front desk, info desk, and then it gets transferred to that big 10 by 20 tents, and then it gets judged, and then at... Um, 4 p.m. is when they had this awards ceremony, and so the judges will have all the tags on and the prize will be given out, and at that same time, the scholarship uh, is awarded right at that time. Right, right. Now, also, let people know the age brackets for the, because right. I believe there's like okay. three there's age. There's four. There's six to nine. Uh, 10 to 12, 13 to 15, I think uh, 16 to 18. And can you repeat that one more time, please? <laughs> okay, if you want, I can get you the exact, uh, let's say. No, six, just you said six, six, six to, six to, nine. to nine. Yeah. Um, 10 to 12, 10 to 12, 13 to 15, and 16 to 18. And 16, those are the age groups. And each of those age groups get, you know, a first place, a second place, a third place, right. and, and maybe it, an honorable And dimension. it goes up to 18, right. because I believe that's when the NAAA considers you an adult, adult and, and then you can become a full-fledged member, member right. so you can, okay. Yeah. Um, now, I believe there's also a scholarship. Uh, right. Now, let's talk a little bit longer about this. Okay. Let's so, talk about uh, how the money is gotten in the first place, okay. uh, who is it for. Okay. Well, first of all, you know, the NA gives out two scholarships, and right now it's the NA scholarship, and then it's also the Calvin Libby Memorial Scholarship. Calvin so Libby. Libby Memorial Scholarship. Oh, okay, okay. And he was an artist earlier on, and he devoted a lot of his time to the NAA, so that's why we kind of named it after him. Oh, so, okay. So who can qualify is a high school senior that is graduating, you know, this fall or last fall, and... Uh, and they're going to be continuing their education in an art-related field. And so they're eligible. So what they do is they, they submit an application, and we go through, and then we judge it, and then we, we pick two winners. And then what happens no, is... No, can I they just, sure. they just backtrack? And then so you pick two winners, and it's a sizable amount to be applied towards tu tuition. Right. Right, okay. Exactly. It's a... It's a certain amount um, that will be discussed later right. you know, at the art go, show because right. um, we want people to come and watch right, the right, scholarship. Right. <laughs> uh, and then, so, so then they also get to show their artwork at Greeley Park. We have a scholarship tent. So what we're hoping is we're hoping one person who wins one of the awards will be there on Saturday showing their artwork in the scholarship tent, which is across from the information tent. And then on Sunday, we're hoping that the other artist will will display their artwork so the whole world gets to see, you know, why they were chosen as the scholarship winner. Okay. And, and then at 4 p.m. on Sunday, that's when we announce the scholarship. We'll probably announce both winners. Okay. Yeah. Now, you have, a, you have a raffle, too, right. uh, every year. And yeah. you can talk about that at okay. length if you like. So, because so that is... That's another um, good program. So this is one of, the, one of the ways that we do get money for the scholarship. I mean, there's obviously donations... You know, there's, there's donations from companies, there's donations from artists, there's donations from me and uh, everyone else, you know, and that money goes to the nonprofit scholarship. So, so when you donate money, you can get a tax break. So that's, that's a oh, bonus. Okay. So that's an incentive. So back to the raffle. So the raffle has many different things. It has artwork from these artists, you know, maybe even student artists. It has gift certificates from the local sponsoring uh, businesses, you know, I mean, for one, I could just say like Lucky Dog or, you know, there's Fleur and Ray Marine that are, oh, are wow, Sandra okay. Peters works at. They give, nice. a, they give a sizable donation nice. um, that goes directly to the scholarship. But sometimes they donate like gift certificates and that's what we raffle off. Oh, okay. And so, 
So that money ultimately goes to help the scholarships. That goes to pay the scholarships. So, okay. so I'm saying buy a lot of raffle tickets early and often. That's what I'm going to say because that all that money goes for a good cause. It right. Helps and, us. The, and when and when it's a raffle, like I've done it a couple times, right. when you give a painting yep. for the raffle, uh, that person there's a good chance that they'll be able to buy that painting for a lot less than if you went yes. in a gallery oh, yes, definitely. and were to buy it. And so you can get some nice artwork just by going to the, the, the raffle it's, yeah. itself and uh, yeah, and, and also, getting some you know, nice artwork. The like. artists who <laughs> donate stuff, they get some publicity too. You know, it's in my raffle. Sometimes we have in our Greeley Park brochure, we, we try to advertise you know, what these raffle prizes are going to be as much as we can. So that artist might get exposed that way too. So it's a good good idea to donate some of your artwork to the raffle. Now, like, let's just say that um, you know you and I are walking to the Greeley Park Art Show. We know nothing about it. You know, okay. we're just just folks, and we're visiting, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Speaking of visiting, where would you think they should start at the visitors booth? And right. from there, what can they? What should they ask for? Right. And once they have it. How do they well, use it? Well, the number one <laughs> is we make a brochure, a very extensive brochure that has all the artists listed. It has like almost all the sponsors. It has advertisement from the sponsors. Can I backtrack I mean, for one sure. second? Inside all of these programs, you about in the middle, if I'm not mistaken, right. there's, a, a a, there's a layout of mm -hmm. all the booths. And all the booths, they've taken the time to number each and yep. every booth and then have a legend down below or yeah. somewhere next to it, yeah. where the artist's names are. So if you have right. a particular favorite or a couple favorites or you're clueless and then you go to a particular uh, artist's booth and you say, oh, I love your work. Give me your brochures. Give me your cards. Give me this. Give me that. And by the way, give me a painting because I love that too. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. But anyway, uh, yeah, so now that is kind of like uh, walking, you know, it, it lets you navigate your way yes. through. And right. then there's other information oh, in the... Uh, definitely. Well, as you said, where would you program. start? You would start there at that information booth, and, and they would start to tell you things. They would probably give you one of these brochures. And in the brochure, like you said, it has the whole schedule for Saturday or Sunday. So this is kind of like your whole guidebook to the whole weekend. I mean, and there's also a puppet show by our very own Teresa Muller. Oh. So, so the kids can enjoy Hey, I enjoy it. Not only just the kids, the adults can enjoy that, too. So there's too. a puppet show. show there's music. music there's, there's, there's great art. Right. If you're hungry, there are, oh, there's there food are vendors, vendors yeah, right out, out on the street. Um, um, and then right across the way, right across the that's park. a great draw, too. Yeah. That's like an amphitheater where they have... Yeah, I think on Sunday... Summer, summer fun. Right, I think on Sunday Nashua. there's some type of children's show across the street, too. Right. So that kind of coincides with our student art show, too. So, so if so, you're bringing in children... Right. You can, on Sunday, you can not only go to the Greeley Park Art Show. You can go right across uh, the but street. Then, but after that, you can go across the street, right. and there's a lot of activities for the children and things for them to get involved in, too. So it's kind of a nice double header along with the music and the puppet show and just, right. just some awesome art. Yeah, I It's mean, just nice. To, I, I love walking around talking to the artists and saying, I love that painting. How did you do that painting? Yeah. Or, or what, what caused you to get into this new subject that you're painting? And right. And just talking. And some of the artists are actually, you know, doing some work and demonstrating at the same time. Oh, Not, so there are some demonstrations yeah. being done by I, the artists. I think unofficially, at the booth. yeah, unofficially. I think you know they're trying to draw their own attention. So some people, you know, maybe Marilyn, who knows, you know, uh, some people. Last year, I saw a few people, you know, like working on things, and that draws a crowd, and you know, that gets people to buy more things, you know, yeah, because you're like, well, that artist is really working it, you know, and you know. And that's great. I mean, and it, well, it, it, it also it gives the public a chance to see what an artist goes through when yes. I mean, because now you're one seeing the finished artwork when they look in in someone's right. uh, um, uh, tent, their little booth. But actually, um, you get to see the process before you see it done, right. and uh, with with all of its maybe perhaps little errors and little things that they're working on, and then right. so that's interesting to watch the process of how an artist works. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's very exciting. And like I said, you kind of get to feel like just how much time it takes. I mean, because people don't know behind the scenes. You know, me or you, we're at our little workshop, and we're just working away hours and hours. And you know, at night or whenever, you can get a chance to work on your artwork. And it never ends. And then you maybe be finished, and you're like, oh, I want to change that one thing. And it just continues. Right, right. Um, 
So now I kind of want to phase a little bit into um, if one is interested in joining the, uh, the NAAA, uh, just some uh, contact information. Again, you may want to go over some of the benefits. Right. And then if there's anything else you'd like to talk about in terms of the NAAA. Yeah. Well, in, in general, the, the best way to become a member is to fill out our membership application. Um, that can be found online at our website. Um, you can also find more information on Facebook. You know, you just search for the words Nashua Area Artists Association, basically. And then, like I said, we have direct email to us, too, that can be found on the website. And then, you know, we have a P.O. box. That, that's where we get all our information, our application, our scholarships. So that's Nashua Area Artists Association at P.O. Box 7070 in Nashua, New Hampshire, 030. Six one because it's because at the post office <laughs> right yeah. right and uh, again you can go over some of the the benefits of what it is to join the NAAA. sure so 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 we have you know discounts on the Greeley Park Art Show oh we, you have a discount right, on the Greeley Park members. Art Show if you want to have a booth right so for next year if you're a member and, yeah. and you don't have to pay the full price for right. if you're a non-member right it's more well, expensive basically. let's say if you're signing up today or tomorrow right you you could pay your thirty dollar fee to to be a member and then you could pay the discounted price to to be to be in the girly park oh, okay. show. so you can do it okay. right away so it's sort of and retroactive then, that right also then. gives you a newsletter right yeah they get a newsletter now we're mainly doing it digital to save paper we're, and to save the environment. We're mainly doing digital so we can email or it's on the website. And then the people who, who don't have access and, and they ask us, they can get a mailed copy too. Well, okay, yeah. so they can get, can get the application right. form there. Mm -hmm. And then they can get information on uh, last upcoming year's Greeley Park or upcoming events. Yeah. They can find out about the Hunt Building. Right. right? And then yeah. you guys have usually like a, an artist of the month, which is another, can you talk about right. that? Well, currently we have different programs, but currently, right now, what we're doing is at the National City Hall. I think it's called the Mayor's Artist of the Month, and so every month, you know, I think I was last April or something. I had my, all my artwork in there, so it's basically kind of the waiting room before you get to see the mayor. So you know, so it's kind of a nice thing. So all all the people that go into her office get to see all this artwork, and we get exposure as artists, and uh, everybody wins basically, and so. What we were trying to do this year, I mean, or right about now, is try to have some students in there. It would be nice to have some student artwork. And uh, we do want to thank the Mayor Donnelly for allowing us to have that Artist of the Month at the Nashua City Hall. Oh, OK. Yeah. Right. And it's, it's actually, is it, is it in her office, yeah, per it's, se, it's in the waiting basically area? Basically, wait, right? They call it the Mayor's Office, but it is really the waiting area. Well, yeah, of so, the Mayor's yeah. Office. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, you see, actually, yeah. that's how I got a painting I had had a painting there a couple administrations ago. Yep. I'd had a painting in the mayor's office, and it got such reviews. Yeah. Um, then after a month or two, uh, the question came to me: Well, would would you mind presenting the painting to the city of Nashville because uh, we would really like the painting, especially since it's of the city hall itself? Yeah. And then I said, Fine. And we had a so. You can, and then my painting ended up in the permanent collection at City Hall yeah. in, in Nashua, City Hall. So one can have their work adopted yeah. from such experiences, and, and not just from the politicians that walk in. There's a lot of business people that walk yeah. through the mayor's office. So it's, it's, great, public, it's great public exposure, and uh, at the very least, it's, uh, it's, it's exposure in the mayor's office. And yeah. you have a juring process before you can even get into the mayor's office, I believe, the yes. showing, right? I, I, think, a... I think we look at it, the NA, but I think also the, well, or the mayor's assistants, you know, take a quick look okay, at things. Sure. And, and I think when, when I was the um, artist of the month, I think they did ask me to focus a little bit more on New Hampshire art, because, you know, I have art from all over the world. I have art from Tahiti, I have art from London, right. I have art from Bermuda, so they kind of, Focused me in a little bit, so, right, right. Yeah, which is which is which is which is really good. But right. that that's another aspect of being a member of the NAAA. And as the NAAA expands and as the as their future projects come to fruition, it's going to be more and more and more exciting stuff. Right. Um, 
Okay, now, what I want to do now with the last few minutes that we sure. seem to have, yeah. I wanted to uh, ask you to reiterate re some of the uh, the Greeley Park Art okay. Show, which we call GPAS. Yeah, G Greeley, Greeley Park, Park Art, Art Show. show yeah. You kind of so, cut it down a bit. Okay, so I'll tell you, I'll <laughs> tell you the, the key type of things. First of all, it's, it's on Saturday, August 17th, and Sunday, August 18th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's the most important thing you need to know. And then in order to look at our schedule, you should, you should pick up one of the Greeley Park brochures at the front sales desk. It's called the sales or information desk. So that is critical because in there you will find everything. So that's the main thing to do. And then, you know, look for the raffle, you know, buy some raffle tickets, take a look at all the different artist booths, you know, check out the art competition tents. That's the two huge long tents that's really close to the sidewalk. Get and your, get your program book. Right, <laughs> Don't exactly. Don't forget that, because that's going to be your map on how to get around. Exactly. Okay, Jason, you know, we need to uh, wrap things up sure. now. I want to thank you so much for, for being here. Yep. And you've, well, you've done a you great job much. in letting us know what is going on at the Greeley Park Art Show for right. this year. Um, and I just want to thank all, all the viewers out there. And please, go out, go out there, the Greeley Park, 17th and 18th of August from uh, 10 to 5. Bye. Have a fantastic time. Have fun. Bring your kids. And uh, check it out. It's fun. Thank you. Thanks. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.